And I just realized I made an ass of myself. But you do see an outline of, of someone making the hideout for the Order of the Red Riding Hood Sisters, but apparently it's not in this game, it's in the future game. So I fucked up, so I apologize. Well, now that mess is over, and again, I am sorry, let's continue the game with Chapter 2. I like how the menu like this is switches from that day to night. You know, it's really cool. You get the metal there. This is but the moon god is probably the same one from the other game. You get a purple hair and a ruby. Red marble eyes they call it. Well, we're not going to let that happen. I can vaguely make out the figure in the waterfall. Who is she? Well, I can kind of guess who it is. I have to admit, even these uh, little items look like, are really beautiful and detailed. Really pretty. Inside, put the metal here, and we got a new parable. Let's see what we got. Well, if you didn't notice that the book reads to us this time, so that's cool for those that are stuttering. Also, if you notice, for these little uh, parables, there's a different design. Like this one has the wolf on top, that one has the castle, has this has the uh, simple crest, has the moon, and plain blank. That's really cool. You know, different parables for different different parable frames for different stories. That's awesome. Now we got another H O P. We got another one. One more to go. We put the marbles here. And we get another one. And here we actually play out the story. First he digs a hole. 
makes a trap, blows the whistle, and now we can shoot it. Okay, first the seeds, then the rain. Use the axe and then the crest. And then we get the castle. We can go back, put that here. And now we got this. You click that and that. And this is actually a diagram, sort of, of the Mist Kingdom, which we will soon see. And you put all the stones up here. Now we can go back. As the full moon rises from the mound, a beam of light hits amidst from the bronze statue. We get a skull and a telescope part. Out of the mist, an ancient palace has risen from the lake. It actually looks very pretty from a distance. I wonder what it looked like up front. Don't forget to click that part. Well, now they're stuck. It isn't me, or does the look can give up a, a Maleficent vibe to me? It, it kind of does. Anyway, that stranger left. Is he a friend or foe? We don't know. As to statue, you get a crystal. Click the rock, you get a parable, and I guess it's called a bracelet. And also you get, get to click that, or else you won't unlock the uh, little emblem later on. And we go to this HOP. Well, like all the others, Rose left off the parts, Ivy left the parts, I guess the Ghost Ballet left the parts, uh, Gerda probably left the little trinket parts. I'm not so sure about the list and Fable Legend, and I have no idea who's leaving little bits and pieces over here. 
Maybe it's the moon goddess, I don't know. Hmm. I really don't know. So let's see. Hmm. Get the key. And now we can go to the city. Get this. Oh, and we're now getting more of objects too. This one also has a cursed object, but it also amplifies the hints, but I'm not a fan of it, so I'm just gonna click this so I can show you. In a future game, I bet you kinda ha you have to, you're forced to do it. Put the town emblem here, and we get a game. Coins here, coin there, and there. To unlock this one, you have to follow this pattern. Last night it still was a star. The left moon, bottom from the left sun, and the right lightning rod. That's how you do it. There you go. No better judging from these bodies that they perished from whatever happened. And we got a greedy king. And you can tell it's obvious. Not all kings wear dashing robes and they look like priests. Get this jewel. And here. A diary describes a search for a young childhood friend. You click this parable. It says here, January 2nd. Yet another unfaithful day, my search continues. Eldra disappeared so long ago, but I know she's still alive. I won't give up. And we got another HOP. <laughs> and admittedly, some of these are pretty tough to find. But there is a later game which you have, you cannot hit hints, and you cannot hit skip. So, if you think you want to train for that kind of a game, these other blue tea games are perfect for you. Right here, drop that there. Now we can go to the second, the first floor here. Yep, it says here suddenly black mist materialize, wolves spring out, screams spring out, we sit and await our deaths. Heavy. But it is on the little statue of the king, you put the crown there. Then the green jewel, then the red jewel, you get something rises from the gates that you need a, I guess a codex to figure it out. And here we got a harp. There's a light emerging from the town hall above. Am I not alone?
So we gained an ally, Raphael. So that does sound like Maleficent, because if you recall in the Disney Snow White, she's also a shapeshifter. See? Told ya. See? Nope. Can't put that there. We go back here, put the hearthstone on the journal, and we get the codex. And we give this to Raphael. Now we can put this large gear set on it. <sighs> Let's go. That's the end of chapter 2. I'll see you guys in chapter 3. And so far, this game is getting interesting. Really interesting.